Back here in North Alabama, people in Madison County are now working on cleanup and recovery efforts following Wednesday night's storms. Way 31 reporter Paige Meyer joins us live now after spending spending the day in Newmarket. Paige, it looks like they have some pretty significant damage out there as well. As you can see behind me, this is a tree, or what's left of it rather, that was completely uprooted and landed directly on this home here in Newmarket. Now the homeowner actually walked me through the home today to show me some of the damages and this tree actually landed directly into his bedroom while he was in bed. Now the National Weather Service tells me that they are continuing to survey this area to see if this damage was in fact caused by a tornado. But that seems like something this homeowner seems pretty confident about. I'd never heard nothing like that in Newmarket before. I knew it had to be a tornado. Wednesday night storms felt by many across the Tennessee Valley. Wayne Franks of Newmarket saw extensive damage to his home. Water was coming out here like a, a Niagara Falls, so all we could see was the tree down through the house. Frank says his house shook as a tree landed right in his bedroom, causing him to jump out of bed. As a Vietnam veteran, he said the only way to describe what he heard was like the roar of an F-4 Phantom jet. I was down here in the floor. I learned how to hit the floor fast in the U.S. Army, <laughs> but I was in the floor and my son come in here and helped me up. Frank estimates about $200,000 in damage to the home he built in 1998. But what he can't put a price on are the damaged photos and memories connected to his home. That's where all of your memories is at, is in pictures and stuff like that. We don't know how much of that is ruined, you know. It's just, we're just now getting to the, uh, hard part. Franks doesn't know if the house is a total loss yet, but at the end of the day, Franks says a house is just a house. As long as nobody lost their life or was hurt, that's the main thing. And my puppy was okay. Now I have been in contact with the National Weather Service to see if this damage was in fact caused by a tornado. Now straight line winds can also topple trees, so we will have to wait until this survey is concluded. Make sure to stick with Way 31 News for updates. Reporting live in Newmarket with coverage you can count on. Paige Meyer, Way 31 News.